Welcome to Great Falls. What's going on you guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Amon Luthra and welcome to Great Falls. This spot is located about 30 minutes right outside Washington DC and it's on the Potomac River, which is right on the border between Maryland and Virginia. Today we're gonna hike the Billy Goat Trail which takes you to the falls from the Maryland side. But I actually already made a video of Great Falls from the Virginia side and if you wanna see it, then check out the video on the top right. But anyways, there's a lot of cool geology about this place, so let's get into it. The rocky formation around Great Falls is called Mather Gorge, and the biggest drop in the rapids is about 20 feet. Most of the rocks are metamorphic and highly erosion resistant, which formed from sandstones and mudstones nearly 550 million years ago. There are also some igneous formations that came almost 80 million years later, as well as sedimentary rocks that have mostly eroded by now. You can also see a lot of diagonal cracks in the rocks, which is a sign of the North American tectonic plate moving. Over time, these cracks combined with the force of the river became strong enough that the river flows in the direction that it does today. But what about the river itself? Where did that come from? The general consensus among scientists is that during the last ice age, a bunch of ice and snow piled up in this area. Eventually everything melted and the huge volumes of water brought a bunch of boulders and rocks with it into the river, which helped shape Mather Gorge into what you see today. The rocks still erode to this day, but they erode so slowly that you won't even notice within your lifetime. Even what George Washington saw back in the 1700s is very similar to what you see today. Check out all of these super cool rock formations. It's awesome. And there's the main river over there. We're almost to Great Falls. This trail is no joke. You have to do a lot of boulder scrambling. But when you get views like this, I'm never gonna complain. So you won't see Great Falls directly from the Billy Goat Trail, but it's just a little bit walk ahead when you get back on the canal. So you may as well do both. All right, the Billy Goat Trail is done and it is about 7.30 PM right now. So I'm gonna have to get to Great Falls a little bit fast before it gets too dark. So what's really interesting about this trail is that even though you're right on the river, all of these rocks are actually part of the bedrock. Before I sign off you guys, I just really want to mention something. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I care a lot about climate change. And as I am speaking at 8 p.m., it is 97 degrees outside, which is way higher than average. I find it pretty crazy how you'll hear about extreme weather in the news all the time, but not once will they ever mention climate change as the reason why it's happening, or more importantly, what to do about it. I'm sure a lot of you have heard in the news recently about Yellowstone National Park shutting down because of extreme flooding. And part of me wonders if places like Great Falls and the DC areas are next in line. Because DC is so close to the Atlantic Ocean, a lot of studies predict that not only will there be a lot more days of extreme heat in the area, but there will also be a lot more intense storms and flooding in the coming decades. All of these events are expected to negatively impact the aquatic and terrestrial life around Great Falls and the Potomac River. 
I don't want to see places like Yellowstone and Great Falls disappear because of climate change. And I don't think you do either. So just a friendly reminder that talking about climate change is unfortunately not gonna fix it. The only thing that's gonna fix it is action. And if you wanna learn some easy ways about how you can lower your personal carbon footprint, check out the video in the top right corner. Climate change is not a topic that a lot of us wanna talk about because many of us see it as a depressing issue. But it's still important to keep it in mind because it's going to affect us all in some way, no matter where we are in the world. One of the actions that I'm trying to work on is to talk to as many people as possible about climate change, just like I am to you right now. By talking about the actions that I take like being vegan and avoiding consumerism, I can encourage others to take action as well. And when my actions are able to ripple towards other people, that's when I feel like I'm making a bigger difference, which you can do as well. So keep learning and keep taking action, because the reality is that nature can live without us, but we can't live without nature. Well, I had a really fun time hiking the Billy Goat Trail and seeing Great Falls from the Maryland side. If you wanna see Great Falls from the Virginia side, I have a video down in the description for you. But overall, these trails are awesome. It's a super fun challenge and you get awesome views. So definitely do it if you're in the DC area. If you enjoy these trails, please give this video a like and subscribe down below. New videos are posted every Friday, either an outdoor adventure like this one or a topic about climate change. And also comment down below where you want me to go next. And I may just take you up on that suggestion. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next amazing adventure. See ya.